Mentor is someone who has already done what you want to do and is successful at doing it. Don't find an advisor. An advisor is someone who tells you how to do it but may not have personally done it. Money is one form of power. But what is more powerful is financial education. Money comes and goes, but if you have the education about how money works, you gain power over it and can begin building wealth. The reason positive thinking alone does not work is because most people went to school and never learned how money works, so they spend their lives working for money. Most people want everyone else in the world to change but themselves. Our culture has educated us into believing that the love of money is the root of all evil. It is what you know that is your greatest wealth. It is what you do not know that is your greatest risk. There is always risk, so learn to manage risk instead of avoid it. If you realize that you're the problem, then you can change yourself, learn something, and grow wiser. While you were in school, you got a report card once a quarter. A financial statement is your report card once you leave school. The problem is that since most people have not been trained to read financial statements or trained in how to keep a personal financial statement, they have no idea how they are doing once they leave school. Many people have failing marks on their personal financial statements but think they are doing well because they have a high-paying job and a nice home. Unfortunately, if I were handing out the grades, anyone who was not financially independent by age 45 would receive a failing grade. It is not that I want to be cruel. I just want people to wake up and maybe do a few things differently, before they run out of their most important asset time. Today, much of the global economy is based on debt and confidence. As long as we all keep holding hands and no one breaks ranks, everything will be fine. By the way, the word fine is my acronym for feeling insecure, neurotic, and emotional. There are two things that make today the greatest entrepreneurial age. 1. We have access to teachers like never before. 2. You can start a business from home while still working at your job. Whenever you feel short or in need of something, give what you want first and it will come back in buckets. That is true for money, a smile, love, or friendship. Winning means being unafraid to lose. In My best advice is to prepare daily to be bigger than your smallness. In my opinion, the reason most people stop and turn back from their dreams is because the tiny person found inside each of us wields more power than our bigger person. The business behind the business is the real game. It's the business behind the business that makes money regardless of who wins the game or which way the market goes up or down. It's the business that sells the tickets to the game. It does not buy the tickets. You must accept the responsibility of being self-made. Luck is created. So go create yours. Your first step in taking responsibility is to quit blaming others and quit blaming the world. An upset is our maker's way of telling us that we need to learn something. It is a tap on our shoulder saying, pay attention. You have something important to learn. If you lie, blame, justify, or deny the upset, you waste the upset and will waste a precious gem of wisdom. Without a strong reason or purpose, anything in life is hard. 
You cannot teach a poor person to be rich until they change their context. Teaching a person with poor or middle class person's context is a waste of time, and it does annoy them. Financially, with every dollar we get in our hands, we hold the power to choose our future, to be rich, poor, or middle class. If you think I'm the problem, then you have to change me. If you realize that you're the problem, then you can change yourself, learn something, and grow wiser. Money is only an idea. If you want more money, simply change your thinking. A problem with school is that you often become what you study. So if you study cooking, you become a chef. If you study the law, you become an attorney, and a study of auto mechanics makes you a mechanic. The mistake in becoming what you study is that too many people forget to mind their own business. They spend their lives minding someone else's business and making that person rich. Confronting fear, weaknesses, and neediness by choosing our own thoughts is the way out. Be careful what you learn, because your mind is so powerful that you become what you put in your head. It is this entitlement mentality that is eroding the foundations this country was built upon. The entitlement mentality is bringing down the American empire and the world.